I'm Rhoda Grossman, the artist who creates the caricatures for the ICANN wiki pages. And I'm going to do a demonstration to show you how it's done. I'm using Corel Painter software and a Wacom pressure sensitive tablet and my, my trusty MacBook Pro. And I'll start with the photograph of Noha. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I have a Cairo template prepared in advance with uh, a little pyramid um, a graphic in the lower left hand corner. I also have two layers for drawing and painting. I'll begin on the line layer and use one of my favorite brush presets which I have in a little collection um, called a custom palette that I can just reach into to get whatever tool and art supply that I want so I don't have to look for it. I'm going to concentrate on the eyes here. They're just beautiful. So let's make those large and exotic. I might have to resize this in order to fit everything in. In fact, I will do that now. I'm going to have to scale this down because I'm going to run out of space. Another wonderful feature for working digitally and so now I'm going to move that smaller version up a little bit. Go back to painting and she's got a lovely smile so let's get that in there. It'll look very much more appealing when I get to the color layer which I will do in a moment. Let's give her some cheeks and a chin, another cheek and uh, a neck. A little more hair is ne needed and pretty sure we're going to have to save eventually. I don't want to I don't want to push my luck here so I'll do a save at this point. And then I can continue on the color layer. Spelling doesn't count. So switching to the color layer which is set to be uh, transparent so that the lines will continue to show through. I think I'll give her kind of blue hair and using one of my favorite tools, a rake tool, go in there with some uh, several parallel strokes that have some variation in hue, saturation, and value. I'll do some of that on the line layer as well. I kind of like what's happening there. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit to work on those beautiful eyes. Let's give her some eye shadow. I think purple would do nicely. And I'm going to use a, a, a an oil pastel type preset. Wrong layer. Got to do that on the color layer so the lines are showing through. And as soon as I get that in there, I will blend that in with a smeary tool. Starting to develop nicely. Let's give her some rosy cheeks and uh, a rosy nose perhaps as well. So once again using the, the uh, oil pastel variant. I'll put some pink on there and let's throw in some lipstick while we're at it. A little bit darker for the upper lip. The upper lip is always a little bit darker. It's in shadow. And then let's get that blender out so we can make these smooth color areas. Leave a little white space on the cheek and the nose. Maybe add a little white space. I can just sample white with, with the eyedropper and uh, that's looking pretty good. Maybe just a little bit of rosy, rosy glow on the chin there and we'll blend that in a little bit too. Uh, one thing I like to do for, uh, wrong way, let's zoom in and give her the special eyelashes treatment which again utilizes my, my rake tool so I can go in there and just very quickly put in some glamour eyelashes on Noha. Zoom out once again, save and I think we're ready for a um, one of the preset backgrounds. I can just uh, determine which background of, of the uh, several that I have available. 
by going and designating it as the clone source. I think background two is going to work nicely. I'll use a cloner uh, brush this time, and I can choose from many different styles of cloner. I am thinking the smeary camel cloner sounds like just the thing for this event. Anything having to do with camels uh, can't be bad for Cairo. So that is just about ready. Got to sign it. And we're done.